Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew, and I'm going to be going over the PGL guidelines for the tournament. Uh, they're basically the same as the last CCL ones, uh, with some slight modifications. But the first thing I did want to go over is that I noticed when I was disabling my second monitor, I actually noticed this while I was running through this video before, and I actually had to restart now. But uh, I was doing it when I disabled my second monitor, my display capture actually went black and it didn't come back after my monitor came back on. Uh, so if this is going to happen to you, you should test it. Uh, but if you want to be safe, just uh, before you start recording, um, disable your second monitor or unplug it uh, because this has been a problem for me and I haven't been able to figure out how to fix it off the top of my head in the last five minutes. But yeah, so if this is a problem for you, you need to be making sure that this is this is working here uh, and visible. So please, please, please uh, make sure that that is uh, unplugged or disabled beforehand if you're unsure if it's going to uh, make your screen go black. Uh, mo moving on. So, uh, stream requirements. Minimum of uh, 1280 by 720 resolution, 60 FPS, which doesn't accept any higher. Uh, bit rate no lower than 2K, upward 6K, which doesn't accept any higher. Don't hurt your performance doing higher FPS or bit rate. Uh, VOD must be uploaded to uh, Twitch or YouTube after the uh, stream is over. This is a setting. If you don't do this, uh, you effectively did not stream for us. Uh, I don't care if you stream the whole event. If we can't view it, you didn't stream. So uh, don't uh, make your team... Don't force your team to play a rematch and get suspended from the rest of the tournament. Uh, your stream must be in display capture. Uh, I don't care how many scenes you have. I'm not going to make you delete all your, your scenes for whatever you have for your recording sections and whatnot. Uh, but I do care about your sources. Uh, for your recording here, your source, your scene... It has to only have one source, and it has to be display capture. If it's not display capture, uh, you effectively did not uh, stream. So uh, it can't be game capture. It can't be window capture. It has to be display capture. All right, so moving forward. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start the stream. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to here, hit start streaming, and we're going to go to our account, and we're going to make sure that we're streaming. Uh, it may take a second. Uh, you can see all my fucking attempts here, but to make this fucking video and I've had an error each time and I've had to change some other regulations but for the most part uh, as you can see right here yep so we're streaming and what you would do is you would copy your um, URL here and we would go to the discord and we are going to go to the player streams channel and uh, you're just going to paste it in there so I'm not actually going to do this because I don't want people viewing this while I'm making the video but uh, that's where you would paste it. Uh, and this is just to make sure that your stream is running and then uh, other people can view your stream as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, moving forward. Uh, where's my thing? Okay. Uh, you're going to link the stream in the player stream channel and then we're going to go to the settings. Okay, perfect. Now this is the perfect time that I want to talk about uh, a local account. So if you're on Windows 11 and you click this button right here, uh, I'm not even sure if Windows 10 has this, but uh, your name's going to pop up down here. So it's very good practice to make a local account. Uh, this is good for anything, not just for these regulations. Uh, basically, you could just name your local account whatever you want it to be. And this could be my username, for example. And you don't have to worry about people uh, seeing your name and, you know, self-doxing. Um, also, you probably want to view your recent files uh, and make sure that you're not going to have anything that has your name somewhere. Uh, so yeah, please check this beforehand and get rid of that if you do. Uh, but yeah, I would make a local account. If you don't, you're going to be running into some issues. Uh, I did have a previous video on how to do it, but uh, I recommend just like YouTubing it, like how to make a local account, Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, to prevent you, you saw from doxing yourself. Um, but yeah, so moving into it, uh, multitasking. So you can either type it straight in or you go to settings, uh, settings, and then it would be system here on the side, and then it would be... Uh, multitasking right here yep so what are we looking for in here well on windows 10 i think it's going to be at the bottom but on windows 11 it's right here in the middle and you're going to be opening up this desktop setting and uh what we're looking for is on the taskbar show all the open windows and show all open windows when i press alt tab these need to be selected to on all desktops not only on the desktop i'm using it's automatically set to this one we need to set it to this one uh after that that's all you need to do in there uh moving forward uh, we're going to be going to display settings. So same thing. You can either go through system and then click display, or you could just type in display settings. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so I've already disabled my second monitor, as I said, because I was having issues disabling it. Um, so you could either do it by showing only on your primary monitor or number two, if 
your primary monitor happens to be your second monitor. Uh, but yeah, so you, I did it this way, but you could also unplug it. That's also completely valid. Uh, just be wary. Make sure your screen does not go black when you disable it. I would probably disable it before you uh, start streaming. Because if your stream goes black for X amount of seconds, people are going to be questioning what you did during that time. And I don't want to be that guy, you know, that, you know, you end up getting a strike or something. So, yeah, you know, I'm just letting you know in advance. The only thing you need to do on this setting is make sure that you this is either set to show on one or you unplug it. Um, if you don't have a second monitor, all you're doing is showing that you don't have a second monitor. So you just come to the setting and this is all we need to see because we won't see the second monitor here uh, if you don't have a second monitor. Uh, moving forward. Uh, oh, yes. Opening the OBS settings and all that fun stuff. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to settings. Um, and number one is you should, I got to make sure that you have this hide OBS window unselected. Uh, and the new OBS updates actually have this checked off automatically. Uh, if this is checked off, you're not going to be able to see my OBS. Actually, I'll check it off just so you can see. You no longer can see the OBS on the screen, right? Uh, we need to be able to see it, so that needs to be unchecked. Um, moving forward, uh, that's all we need to do on this on this tab right here. We're going to go to stream, uh, uh, output, sorry. I have advanced mode on, but if you have the regular mode on, that's completely fine. All we're looking is at our streaming settings. You're just going to scroll through this really quick. Uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, moving forward, we're going to go to video. Uh, this is where we view your resolution and your FPS. Uh, that's all you need to show here. Moving forward, hotkeys. This is the most important setting that you're going to go into. Honestly, you could miss the other three and get striked, but like this one, this could be an issue if we're having, uh, if we're reviewing your bod for anything suspicious and you didn't show this tab right here. Uh, you are allowed to have hotkeys for most of these things. Uh, what you're not allowed to have a hotkey is anything that could change your scene or your source or whatever, right? If you could change something about what we're looking at. You cannot have a hotkey that changes your scene from, from example, my desktop to Valorant, right? Can't have a scene that does that. Uh, I, I mean a hotkey, sorry. All your hotkeys can do is basically like mute your desktop audio or your mic or pause your, pause your recording or stop your stream, right? That's the only thing that they're allowed to be done for. Uh, so yeah, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you I don't think you should even have, be allowed to have a pause and unpause... I guess it's, since it's a stream, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so you get out of this too. That's completely fine. Because it's, we're, you're streaming anyway, so you can't really pause it. But yeah. Other than that, um, that's about it uh, for this. Just scroll through this slowly, up and down, just so we can see all your hotkeys. And that's what we're looking for. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this is the new one that we're going through. So uh, you need to open up in your F flags. So we're going to go to Roblox open file location now that we're in our file location here we're going to hit open and then open file location once again now we're in here and we're going to be going to client settings and then this is the file that we're looking at so i'm going to be using the mcl uh, f flag requirements by hey pro uh, i will list all the f flags that you are allowed to have but all you're going to be doing is you're going to be opening this up and showing this on the stream and players will probably do their own due diligence and go through your F flags and see if you have any that you're not supposed to have. So please do not have any that you're not supposed to have because uh, someone's going to get you sooner or later if they think you're suspicious. Uh, most of the players did our due diligence for us last season. We didn't really even need to review most of the bots because the players did it for us. So yeah, please make sure that you're doing that. So that's what you need to do. You're going to be showing your F flags. And then you're going to join the Roblox game. So... The Roblox game will uh, be hosted by one of our uh, administrators. You're probably going to need to friend them on Roblox because what happens is if we give you a private link, um, people are going to view it on your stream and then join the game. We can't have that happening, obviously. So you're going to be friended. You're just going to have to go to the server tab and then join the private server from there. Uh, you'll be told who you need to friend on Roblox, uh, and then you'll be able to join from there. So once you join the game... Please make sure you're on all entered so that we can see that you are in fact in display capture still. Um, so yep, yeah, now with that we're in game. We're going to open task manager, navigate to the details tab and scroll through slowly. So we're going to open up our task managers tab. Now, task manager. I know some people's task manager doesn't look like this, but it looks the same basically. Uh, all you need to know is you need to go to the details tab. I don't care about this processes tab. I care about the details tab. 
you're going to expand this and you're going to scroll through this slowly for everyone to see. And then you're going to scroll right back up. Give us a second glance and that should be good. Perfect. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is, let's see, press Windows key plus tab and just do show that you're not doing anything on your second desktop. So we're going to hit the Windows key and then the tab button. And this is going to pop up here. Uh, this is all completely fine. And we're going to go back to Roblox now. Uh, and then you're going to alt enter and you're going to play your match. So whatever, you know, shoot some people. And then after the match is over on alt enter and you're going to open your task manager again. Go to the details tab, scroll, go up, and then you got to do this before leaving the game. Uh, go to OBS, show that you still have these settings up, you hit settings, and then I don't care about you going through these all again, just go to the hotkey section up and down, and that is it. And then you're allowed to leave the game and you're allowed to end your stream. That's all there is to it. It's not that difficult. Um, I forgot how to do most of these and I just went through them with uh, you guys as I just went here. And it took me 11 minutes. Um, as Even though I was having to explain it. Uh, so you should be able to get them done. Uh, once you do them once, I mean it really takes under 5 minutes. If I redid these now and like did it again, I could do it in probably under 5 minutes. So uh, just make sure you guys are doing this. Get in, get in early and... Uh, Get your stream regs done. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. But yeah, that's about it.